we go. We are live. Woohoo. Here we are. It's working. Can we ever can we can we be heard? Are we can you hear us? Mm. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, hello, Jen. How are you? Hello, Tron. Tron Volta. Hello. Jen, were you here when um, Denise and I did our live together? Did you join for that one? <laughs> but can you hear me? Can you hear me now? It's been a, it's been a short while since I've been brave enough to do a live. <laughs> We're going to wait a minute or so. Hi, Jill. How are you? I know it's been a, it's been a hot minute. <laughs> Hi, Lisa. So we're going to wait a couple, a minute-ish, and then I'm going to introduce you to our Jill Plate guru. I'm going to get learned. I'm very excited. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear Sherry? Can you hear us? Oh, I haven't started talking yet. <laughs> I can hear you. Can they hear okay. you? Oh, good. You can hear us. Okay, good. Yay. All right. I'm going to introduce you. Hi, Marty. How are you? You, you heard her. Okay, good. And you can hear me okay? You're excited for the show. You're too scared to try. Well, yay. I think that Sherry's going to be perfect to help us. Okay. <laughs> so, I don't know, a month or two, whatever. Sometime this summer, I joined a, I call it my YouTube group. <laughs> um, to help me with the YouTube things, all things YouTube. Hi, Mel. And in the group sherry's in the same group and she is a crafty gal like us and she does gel prints gel i was gonna say gel plates you do gel prints on your youtube and i'll link that in just a second when i'm done chatting but she does gel prints and is crafty that way and i thought oh what we discussed and that it would be really fun to have a live I don't know if you were with when Denise and I had our live with Jill Prince. Denise had it down. I, on the other hand, was a hot mess and I need help. And so when she said she does Jill Prince, I thought, oh, this is perfect. <laughs> I can't wait. And so here we are. She's going to teach us from like the beginning and then go from there. And so if you have questions for Sherry, um, if she's going to kind of give us her, some beginner info and then go from there, but then we're going to open it up to questions and I'm going to try techniques and we're going to do it together. I'm very excited. So this is Sherry from Ratchet Up Your Art. And let me post your YouTube channel in the chat so folks can go over and see all of your fun jelly print um, videos. So Hi, hello. everyone. Thank you for having me, Kara. I'm so excited. Yeah. I'm Hi, excited everybody. too. <laughs> Hi, everybody in the chat. Um, so Kara, you just got this gel plate, right? Yes, this is brand new. Having it open. Okay. So before we get started, I just want everybody to know, as everybody, um, knows there's more, more than one way to do something. And what I'm going to teach you, Kara, is just the way Sherry does it. Okay. So Perfect. you, you could get some conflicting information and that's okay. And other people can do it other ways and that's okay too. It all works. It what it's what works for you is what you should be concerned about, not um, not how someone does it versus another person. So the first thing I do, um, there's two types of gel plates. There's the gel press 
And then there's the um, Jelly Arts. There's also a Speedball one. Um, I don't have one of those. And there's some other brands, but the two main popular brands is Gel Press and Jelly Arts. I have both. Um, I like them both. They both work well. Um, I don't really prefer one over the other. And they both come into that clamshell that you have there. So <clears throat> what I what I'll walk you through is how to crack open that gel plate and putting it on a glass mat is perfectly fine. Um, if you have some other non-porous um, uh, material like a plexiglass or something like or a Teflon sheet, um, that works just just as well. Um, can I just say something really quick? So yes. Denise is paper crafty in the chat and she's the one that her and I did the live together. Awesome. And, yeah. And then it was the hot mess. I was the hot mess express and oh my God, we laughed so hard though. And I told you I kept getting rectangles. So I'm really excited to go beyond the rectangle today. <laughs> <laughs> you might get rectangles, but hey, that's okay. Denise, we'll figure when it I out. said, I shared, she's laughing because I shared to Denise. I'm like, hey, we're going to go live and talk about jelly prints. <laughs> so hopefully I get past my rectangle stage. But anyway, yay. I'm so glad to see all of these fun names and faces over here on the side. Okay. I'm I'm back. I would just okay, got you are fine. I am going just to excited. take my face out of here. So I'm gonna hold on. Do you see if I can do this? And then you can see my hands. Can you still hear me though? Yep. Okay. All right. And then eventually you're you're gonna do hands but yeah you you do your thing so now what do i do okay. <laughs> so the way the way i set up my gel plate area um uh, first let's crack open that clamshell now there are those artists who like to clean keep the clamshell um i personally have not kept my clamshells but if you want to keep your clamshell that is perfectly fine i tend to use um the jelly uh the rangers sell some dina wakely uh, gel tins and that's what I keep my 8x10 and smaller plates in ooh. for yeah gel so, tin. ooh anything yeah. new weekly I'm all about is this going to yeah. be distracting because but no. eventually with my camera yeah. okay all no right. you're good okay. um so on my YouTube channel I definitely have a couple videos where I go over all this but um now the next thing that you have on here is um some acetate sheets Mm -hmm. Now, here, here's a couple things. One, anything on your gel plate is going to cause a bubble. So you have to decide, do the bubbles really bother you? My gel plates, they have bubbles because when you have something pressing on it or it's pressing on something like your plate, it's eventually going to have a bubble. So you can, you could put those particular acetates back on them. I did that for the longest time, but I don't put the acetates on my sheet on my gel plates anymore. Now you can read the manufacturer's directions and they'll probably tell you to throw it away. So I threw mine away, but there are some artists who keep the bottom on and just mm -hmm. use the top. Okay. So it's, um, it's really up to you. Okay. Cause once it gets messy, does not matter? No, okay. I don't think it does. But so I, like I said, the top, there's, yeah. yeah. Top, okay. top, top and bottom. That's what I do. Okay. That's just scary. So, um, and then on there, the gel, the glass plate really holds it nice and tight onto the plate. Now, you see all those air bubbles right uh -huh. there? Yeah. So over time, so that over time if you were to bubbles. leave it like that, yeah, you're going to get air bubbles. So um, there's really no way to do it, a uh, way around it. And mm -hmm. the manufacturer, there's a whole insert. You can read that. They'll tell you to put some copy paper on it and everything, but that's all in my um, videos that I have on okay. my site. Okay. So, um, don't worry about those bubbles. Okay, I'm just squishing yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, you can squish them. <laughs> you just don't need to worry about them. <laughs> Look, it's a shiny thing. I'm just trying. It is. <laughs> Sorry. It's the gel plate purple popper. <laughs> so anyway, okay. Anyway, yep. You still got so bubbles. So if you have a bubble, have a bubble on the bottom, are you going to have a bubble then on the top of your print? Is that what you're saying? You could. Um, okay. You just have to, I guess you just have to embrace it. I'm embracing it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm all about I'm all about not being perfect. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Now, the next thing you're going to need is now I use a 5 by 7 um to mix my paints on, so I know you have a 5 by 7 I so if you want to break that yeah. out. I feel like Vanna White. I'm loving this. <laughs> Look at me busting it out. I think this is the first time I've used this one, too. I know. Wait till you see mine. Oh my <laughs> They're <God>. all yellow. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm just going to set these aside. Yeah, just set it I'm going to keep this because these would be good for shaker windows and such. Most definitely. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. All right. So now what do I do with this guy? Just put it to the, if you're right, put it on the right side. If you're left, put it on the All left right, side. Okay. Yep. Just like that. Because we're going to put paint on that. And then that's, and you can also use it as a roll off. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay. Now, do you have your, your brayers? Yepers. Okay. So I just posted a video um, earlier in August about the four basic tools that you need to create jelly prints with. And it's, and basically that's what we're going over. You, you need a brayer. Now the types of brayers that you have, um, I don't believe either one's a speed ball. That's just the one I prefer is a speed ball brayer. And, um, and we were talking that, earlier about your squishiness. Mine aren't squishy. So it's going to be a little different. Yeah. Let me go, um, camera down so I can just kind of show you that kind of stuff. Just one second. Yep. So before the live, we didn't talk about this in the live, but her and I were chatting and she was asking me about my brayer and mine is not a squishy one. It's a recollections. And then I have a small Tim Holtz one, but she'll show you hers is super squishy. And so that's going to also affect the print. Right. So I kind of like the squishy one. Now that white one that you have is more, um, Thank you, paper craft, uh, paper crafty. Um, Her name is Sherry. Is Sherry. Yep. Yeah. Um, so the one you have is a hard rubber brayer, and that will totally work. And there has been times I've used a hard rubber brayer um, on my gel prints, and because it was covered in paint, I didn't know it was the hard rubber one. But the ones that I prefer are the speedball ones, and they are, you could tell they're kind of squishy. Mm -hmm. Now, the Tim Holtz one that you had, mm -hmm. um, he doesn't advertise that as being a um, a jelly. He doesn't advertise it in using it in jelly uh, jelly yeah. prints. But again, I have a video on um, on my uh, channel where I talk about the Tim Holtz sprayers and can you use it for jelly printing? That particular one is the softness of it is in between the the uh, speedball brayer and the hard rubber one. Uh -huh. And as you can see, it's not as, I call it fat. It's not as chunky. It doesn't have a, like a lot of yeah. uh, depth to it. It's kind yeah. of thin. Yeah. But the thing I like about the Tim Holtz rubber brayers is that you can take that out. You can yeah. wash it off. Yeah. That and is. then it's got the feet on it. So you can mm -hmm. put it down. Um, but the speedball brayers, and it's not going to hurt you if you don't do this, guys. But. The speedball brayers, and you just get in the habit of it, is you lay it on its backside. So this is the backside. Oh, oh okay. So when you're done, you just lay it on top of there. Otherwise, you're going to get uh -huh. paint over everything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yep. They, <laughs> they, say, they say they'll get indentions, but I, mine have not gotten indentions. So like I said, you'll get in the habit of just laying it on its backside. Does your husband happen to know what the speedball website is or whatever, if people wanted to go or I can also link it later. Yeah. Is um, it definitely. speedball.com or something, or is that going to take you to something else? You can get it off of Amazon. You can get it off of right? Okay. I don't Amazon. know where we're going to send you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. We can get it off of Amazon. Um, Denise, that's what I thought too. I was thinking because remember my gel plate was like really hard and not squishy. That was one thought I had. And then also the brayer was my other thought. Remember I threw away my, my one, it was like, I, I showed Sherry, it was like hard and half the size of this. So I think the combination of my gel plate and my brayer was why I was getting a lot of rectangles, but we will see. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Sorry. Okay. And then of course, we need two more items, right? You need paint and you mm -hmm. need paper. Now, mm -hmm. I will have a video on the different kinds of papers and how to use them, how to use them on my channel. We're still in the works of making that video. And the other video, <clears throat> the other video that I'm currently also in the works is 
really um, looking at the different types of paints. Um, now I can just tell you, you can use any paint, any paint. You can use alcohol inks. You can use pastels. There's a whole kinds of, all different kinds of mediums you can use on your gel plate. Um, but my favorite paint is the Windsor Newtons. And that's okay if you don't have Windsor Newtons. I'm not going to use them tonight. Well, I might use the white. But Windsor Newton acrylic paint is my go-to um, for my paints. I just really like the creaminess of the paint and how, how it smooths. Now, tonight we're going to use the Dina Wakely paints. And um, the thing about paints, especially on a new plate, as well as even an older plate like mine, is that it's all about the vis viscosity. On um, So that's really the thickness of the paint. So if your paint tends to be more runny, you're going to beat up more on your plate. If your paint has more body to it, or like a heavy body or medium body, it's going to, it's not going to beat up as much. Mm -hmm. So something to consider but you know what? I just think that those are just jelly prints. You know, those are just yeah. happy accidents, if you will, if you have runny um, paint on your plate, because that just adds to the effect. Yeah, it's a different style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, tonight, I think what we're going to use uh, copy paper and some envelopes and some mm -hmm. tags. Is that what we're doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So those are the four basic tools that you need to start jelly printing. And you could create all kinds of designs with your brayers. Um, I do have a new brayer. It's a six inch brayer that I'll be playing with tonight, but I usually use the four inch brayer, but I'm dying to try out this new um, six inch brayer. Mm -hmm. The other thing that um, I don't know if you have any paper on the side. Um, okay. So I, I call them roll offs. So if you want to change your, your um, paint instead of, you know, how when, usually when you paint with a brush, you use, you dip it in water and you clean out your brush. Mm -hmm. Well, think of your paper as roll-off papers to change the color of your paint. Now, this is my son's um, old school papers from like fifth grade. And as you can see, he just scribbled in it. And I just use that for my roll-offs. So, and I have, I have many of those in here. So these are like all different types of roll-offs that I have in here that you can use for other, I mean, these are jelly prints. You can use these for anything. Yeah. And that would be good, like, for, like, die cutting and stuff. Most definitely. Yeah. Really fun. So, okay. You ready to get started? I am. I'm so excited. <laughs> well, that's a lot for y'all on the chat. So, is there any questions before we jump in? Oh, and did we want to talk about, like, we're going to use stencils and some other oh, yeah. things Let's that we're going to use? Yeah. So, even if you didn't have any fancy stencils, we're going to, we're going to take a, we're going to take a look at things we have in our house. So we're going to be using some bubble wrap tonight. We're going to use what I call a, a fruit net. And that's, we had some oranges in here. So we're going to use a fruit net. I got this um, from my laundry room to make Oh, stuff. yes. That would be cool. <laughs> that would be cool. And then um, you'll never look at trash the same way again. I, mean, I actually have a drawer called jelly trash because anything <laughs> with texture, anything with texture you can jelly print with. So this is um, some cardboard that I had that I just tore off the top. And then, yep, there you go. That'll work. The old ribbon. I like that ribbon. Yeah, um, this is from Dollar Tree from the spring. Oh, that's cool. That, that will fun? totally make some cool. And like lace texture. would be cool if you had yep. lace that you wanted to sacrifice. <laughs> yes. And then like my son who doesn't play with Legos, but the Lego, you know, I, I snatched from him. Um, you can jelly print with Legos as well. Cool. So there's all different kinds of things. So even if you didn't have any fancy stencils and all you had was these four items, you could look around your house and find some texture. Um, yes. Well, <laughs> I have a whole bin, uh, paper crafty. <laughs> I have a whole bin of just what I call jelly trash. So, <laughs> Um, water bottles, bottle caps, you name it, you can use it. So, Ooh, bottle caps, that's fun. Yep. Now, I do have some stencils. We're going to use a combination of Tim Holtz stencils, some sten joggle stencils. Oh, if you have Punchinella. Mm -hmm. um, so, for those of you who didn't, don't know what Punchinella is, it's the sequins. 
this is what's left over after they pop out the sequins. This makes awesome um, jelly prints as well. So very cool. Yay. You ready to get started? I'm excited. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so what colors did you want to use tonight? Did you want to kind of go oh, with your... Well, I pulled out, because um, I wanted to match, where did I put my stuff? I want to match, oh, here it is. Oh, sorry. Wow, crashing. I am working on a journal using my mystic, um, what is it? What are the, What is it called? Mystic jewels. So oh, I yeah. pulled out colors upside down um in the dina wakely line of paint it's sort of in these colors so that's what i was thinking and then i could use the prints for tags or different embellishments in the um in the kit she uh jen wants to know where you get punchinella so um i believe you could get it on amazon um i just happened to get it from a friend of mine who had a bunch of it and i was like oh i could use that in jelly printing can I have a couple pieces but i believe you can look up punchinella on amazon and you should be able to find it there um can i see your jewel tones again yes okay i just couldn't tell if it was just more like it's lemon or cheddar purple yeah i know i pulled out lemon but yeah it might be more cheddar huh I don't yeah. know. I love this yellow, and I don't think the Dana Wakely has the yellow. But I pulled out um, her, what is it? Peacock, marine, um, some knights, just different, you know, gem tone colors. Fuchsia, eggplant, and blackberry. And then I had these fun um, color shifting colors. Oh, so yeah. Luke, I could try those in folk art. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, so do you want to do a tag? Sure, yeah, whatever okay. you want to start with. I am, so yeah. a couple of things with paint um, that I found when I first started jelly printing, and I personally just didn't um, like it that much, is that when you put paint on the plate, it doesn't roll out very well. And so there's a couple of techniques. One of them is put paint on the smaller plate, load up your brayer, and then apply the plate. The other one is swirling your brayer around so for example um there you go thanks jen so if we're going to use i got peacock here okay so also too you will find over time how much um how much paint to use mm -hmm. you will know when you've had too much if your paint is sliding around if your paint is sliding around uncontrollably like you're on ice, right, mm -hmm. then um, then you have too much paint on your plate. I know okay. that sounded like a redneck joke, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but if you're, if you're, if, and if you cannot see the bottom, like oh. you can see the bottom of my plate. So yeah. I have just a little bit of um, paint on my plate. Oh, I was completely ice skating the last time I did this. Oh yeah, so you had too much. I was like, plate. with my four wheel drive out there doing <laughs> doing donuts. <laughs> so if um, if, I've already if you don't things. have enough on your plate, if you don't have enough on your plate, you can always add more, right? Yes. So okay, should I do what you're doing? I'm gonna wait and see what you're doing, and then I'm gonna try. Oh, I was just um. I was just playing without talking. I mean, I was talking and okay. I was playing. Yep. Sorry, I'm, I'm I'm on autopilot. Play. Okay. So. Okay, so this this had just a little bit of paint on it, right? See how light yeah. it is. Yeah. And and I call these um, basically get your backgrounds down, right? Uh, so yep. It's kind of hard to see that in it. Maybe I need to zoom in a little bit. So go ahead and take your peacock and put some paint on the plate. You don't have to worry about how much you have when you have it on the okay. little plate. Or oh, am I doing either one? Oh. Either one. You can put it on the ah, little plate or the big plate. I'm doing big like you did first. Okay, you do that. And then <laughs> just put a little bit of dots. Yeah. Oh god. My dots are bigger than your dots. That's okay. All right. And I'm gonna use this guy. This big yeah, dude. you could probably use some more paint. I could already tell you that one. But um now you see how you have those blotchy circles? 
Yep. So if you were to start by mixing it in circles first, right? Oh. It wouldn't be so blotchy because you're, oh. I call them blotchy. And then you could smooth it out. Oh, look at you. Okay. So I go like this. Yeah, you can. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So how do you, how do you know? You're good. All right, it's good. Yeah. So then I'm just gonna toss down a paper. Yeah, go for it. I can already tell you I'm gonna need to get more paper in my pile. Okay, let me put it down. Yep. And then it's kind of like a box of chocolate, you know. Mm -hmm. You don't know what you're gonna get. All right, pulling it up. I have a nice line. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Then you did you get a hair or something? No. Oh wait, maybe. Oh geez, Louise. That's okay. That is just all that is is a happy, a happy situation. <laughs> I'm shedding on my friends. <laughs> That's okay. That's a, all right. So you want me to set this nice rectangle hey, you that decide. I did aside? Yeah, or, you could decide. All right. So as you see, there's not a lot of. What I've seen before is people say, yes, season the plate. I didn't mm -hmm. think you need to season the plate if you've never used it. So, you know, there are, there are people who feel as though you need to season the plate. Mine's real seasoned because you can tell it's yellow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> right. So, um, all right. Okay. So what was the difference between doing it over here and doing it here? If you get too, if you are not familiar with your heavy hand of putting paint on the plate, Oh, you can put okay. a bunch of paint over here, right? Okay. And control, and I don't want to use that. And control the amount of paint you put on the plate. Okay. So, I'm and also too, color. the other thing, like here, like right now, I put a bunch of paint on the plate. You see that? Yep. yep. Okay. So if I put all that paint on the plate, I may be slipping and sliding, right? Yeah. Yep. Also, the other thing too, you're loading, you're loading, loading your brayer. See, right now I'm sliding because I have a lot of paint. But oh. you're loading your brayer. When you load your brayer, now you don't have those dots. Oh. And every time you roll over the paint, you're picking up paint off the plate. Yeah. See? So it gets lighter and lighter. So if you want more paint, then you add more paint to your plate. Got it. Okay. So I wasn't thinking and I went to a different color. That's so okay. I have paint still on my brayer. Is that when I use my notebook? Yeah, you can do that. It's probably dry by now, though. Or should I just go for it? And make go for it. It's blue okay. and purple. They mix. They'll be all right. Oh, it's, it's when you have, like, orange on there and purple. That might look a little different. <laughs> my my uh, Dina Wakely paint is not looking so good. Is it a little old? Does it look funky? Oh, here we go. We're good. Yeah, there you go. Now use it like like that's your palette. Like if you had a paintbrush, that's your palette. Oh. So then apply it to your bigger plate. But I need more, right? Yep. You must not have <laughs> see you have a light hand, and that's okay. But for some of us who, you know, there might be times where you're like, I'm really stressed out, and all that paint comes out, right? Yeah. Then you <laughs> you Ugh, it's like goopy. Ugh. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Having a light hand is not bad. You can always add more. Yes. Oh, man. This is why you need to use your stuff. Your paint gets gross. If only there was enough time, right? Right. To use it all. Dang it. They just keep buying more. Can't help myself. Okay. You know, I'm fine with that. All right. So now <laughs> I'm going to do another one. Yep. And we're just getting you used to it. Warmed up. All right. I'm getting warmed up. Yep. I'm going to have to pull more paper. Okay. Okay. Oh, I didn't go over. Now what you can do while you're waiting is get another piece of paper and put it on your little plate. Or you could do like I'm doing. I'll just let mine sit there and dry. Yeah. And, and what I'll do is see what I, after so many layers, what do I get? You know, so uh -huh. I just, yeah. 
So even if I have yellow and I put it on here, mm -hmm. um, I'll just keep I'll just keep piling up layers. Marty, I am timid because <laughs> the last time I did it, oh, it's a hot mess. No, I'm just learning. I don't know. I I don't want to be timid. I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> All right, so that's I pretty much the I'm basic. Let that dry because I wanna I wanna see what happens. Okay, that's fine. Um, you could even, if you wanted to, take your cup or you could take some of, you know, if you had some kind of um, texture. Ooh, let's do the cardboard. I have to get yeah. my cardboard ready. But yeah, I don't want to be loud. But And you could put that on your, your purple one if you wanted to. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little one is what okay. I was trying to say. So I just have to rip off a side. I took it off a box, but I, I forgot to do this part. That's fine. Oh, Jen, what's that paper? Or Zena, or Jen, what's the paper? Is it meant for jelly plates? Is it rice paper? I don't know. Yeah, because um, a lot of collage, you can use rice paper. Mm -hmm. um, what I've been using is plain old copy paper and that's how I got started was plain old copy paper yeah and um, so Marty that's the paper I've been using not the rice paper got it so um, this here is um, I created this print using cardstock like the Nina classic white cardstock uh-huh. And um this is this is very nice for cards if you want to do cards. Um this here, this print here is copy paper. And I've used I've even used copy paper on cards. You could just back yeah. it with something, right? Like you could back a little cardstock if you wanted. Yep, most yeah. definitely. Um one of the other things that I've been doing lately, um because my, while you're tearing up that piece of cardboard, um, <laughs> the is real. Over is there. I've been printing on fabric, so this is like m just white muslin, natural. or not white, but natural muslin, and mm -hmm. I've been doing prints on um, fabric, and then sewing them into. And make a really cool journal cover. <laughs> that too. Yep. Super cool. And then here's a here's another one with multiple layers. Now, when you get too many layers on your um on your fabric it starts to get a little stiff so oh. you know two to three layers is pretty good of your paint two to yep. three layers of paint, yeah yep unless you want it stiff and that's okay then keep adding oh my gosh my cardboard is not cooperating with me let's see did i use that's cardstock did i use what did i use on here <laughs> I got the wrong card stock. Hey, that looks Our good wrong right there. Cardboard, cardboard. It's not um, letting me get the fun groovies. All right, it'll work. All right, I don't want to take forever doing this. I should have done this earlier. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Oh, yep, I, I was really wrap. responding. I was really responding to Jen Scraps because oh. she said bubble wrap works. Yep, yep. should have done it earlier. <laughs> I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> okay, well, this is this is not that looks great. Okay, well, great. That looks great. Go now, granted, your your purple paint right, thing so is probably dry, go? but hey, go for it. Well, it's a little bit. Oh, it's got some marks in there. Okay. There you go. Cool. Now just let it dry. Cool. Oh, I can't stop. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, oh, you're, you're pulling like paint off. The paint. I like that. Okay. Yeah, and that's totally fine because what's that? What that's going to do is allow other paint to get other into the layers. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, what else you want to do? Let's do a stencil. Okay. What do you so, say? I'm going to put. I some... have this big dog. Okay. Circle dog. This is what I've used in the past. Can you tell? Oh, yeah. I do not clean my stencils. I so should I put new. color first and then my stencil? Or it doesn't matter, right? No, you can do both ways. 
And right. um, most definitely. So you just go oh, ahead. Oh, you're going to do color. All right. I just picked a color and just went to town. All right. What color am I going to do? I'm going to do night. There we go. Oh, come on, Dina Wakely. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> I should have checked my paint. Wow. <laughs> what that? Oh, my paints. This is sad. Oh, man. I do live in Arizona. Well, that's okay. And things stray out really quickly. Uh, okay. That's really looking gross. All right. That's let's, okay. Let's just see what happens. <laughs> okay. Well, huh. Maybe they're not that color. Let's move on to a different color. Ooh, ooh, just like butter. Ooh, that's like butter. All right, we're going to use marine. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. It's getting real. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they said. They said it was getting real. <laughs> Kara had too, too many beans. I did. Apparently, my knight, Dina Wakely, has had too many. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm just going to put it on here. I'm just doing that. That's gonna, fine. Okay, and then I'm going to swirl it. Yeah, it, it helps. It helps. Swirl it, swirl it, swirl yep. it. And then you can roll it straight, just so you don't have those paint blobs. No That's paint really blobs. what I didn't like, was the paint blobs. Okay, and then I'm going to set my stencil. Yeah, they do a different color. Yeah, you could take one of your lighter colors that you already like your base layer. Like, um, yep, you could take one of your base layers, like one of these. Oh, yeah, yeah, and then put that on top. Yep. Ooh. Smush, mush. It's getting real. It is, Denise. It's getting real. <laughs> and then right. also, too, you can rub between the circles if you wanted to. So you didn't get, yep. I love it. It's yep. so cool. Look at it. It's awesome. It's not just a rectangle. It has stuff to it. <laughs> and that's the other thing, too. When you have big circles like that, you want to use a bigger, um, a smaller design so that <laughs> You can layer those, but okay. go ahead and pull up your stencil. Yep. Very cool. And then I can put another paper down. You can if it's still wet. Now it's okay if it's not wet, um, because I'll I will show you how to get that paint off of there. Okay. So you'll just if you put your next paint, put your paper down and see what comes up. Okay. I was waiting patiently. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a book page. Is that crazy? No. I'm you may go. not get a lot of paint, so don't be. You know, don't be disappointed. Oh, I, no. No disappointment here. And then I'm gonna go like this. And I'm gonna go like this. And I'm gonna do this. Yep. Give it the love. And then, oh no. Yeah, it's dry. You got something. That's okay. Oh, a smidge. Yes. So now take a take like a lighter color. Yep, a lighter color. Let's. Because if that's dry, you can now mix your colors. So like you know, purple and yellow are complementary colors, right? Mm -hmm. Um, what color is that? This is gilt. Okay, so it's like gold. I don't know how that's gonna look, but go for it. It's like a yellow. So go ahead and put that down. I'm gonna, I have a green on here, so I'm going to do a yellow myself. And I'm going to just put it on half the, half the plate here. You're swirling. That right there is worth the price of admission. I did not know that, and it makes, like, all the difference. You know, your little swirl tip? Oh, yeah, most definitely. That is definitely... 
Okay. Now go ahead and take another paper and stick it on there. Now see how you could see you got perfect amount of paint on your plate because you can oh, see thanks. the circles. You can see the circles <laughs> underneath there. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. You did it. I can see it from there. <laughs> she can't be taught, ladies. She can. <laughs> sure can. Right. And then, oh, I'm excited for this one. Oh, well, I'm going to do this. It's okay if you don't get it all off the plate. We'll talk about that. Well, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Whoa. Look at that. Yep. That's like a, what's his name? Klim? No. Zena, you just made a book with him. But who am I saying? Who am I thinking of? Zena? Clint? Klimt. How do you say his name? The artist? Oh, help me out. <laughs> that looks awesome. Yeah. So yeah, what I like. Klimt. Cool. There it is. Yep. Mm -hmm. What is it? Oh, cool. The artist, you know, with the kiss and it's like yeah. gold and like, yeah. Very cool. So very cool. Good. What I like yes. that is you have extra on that plate. Yeah. So cool. that's what I call grungy goodness. That is grungy goodness. I agree. Yeah. So let that dry and go ahead and play with your purple plate. What do you got on that? Is it wet? It's tacky. Okay. Go ahead and put um, some paint down. And then put a stencil over it and pull a print from that. All right. Or put that gold. You got that gold on there? On your, no, on your brayer? Roll that off on there. Okay. And then just add more. Yeah, let's add more. You're working on a femaphore. Yeah. I think that would be a, that's a really fun journal to make. Okay. And then a stencil. Um, I have this little guy. Yep. And, and then, then take um, if you have any kind of copy paper or any of your papers that you made bases for, like this one, like one of your bases. I only have one. And, base. I have this dark purple. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Like that. And then try to get in between the holes really good. Smushy, smush. Smushy, smushy. All right, here we go. Meh. I think it's not wet enough. That's fine. So I'm going to, well. <laughs> what you got? So I pulled it off and nothing came up. So That's okay. okay. So it's pretty dry then. So should I put another um, layer of something over that? Yeah, you can put another layer on that. Another layer of the gold, or you think I should? It doesn't matter. Whatever you want. Oh, the pressure. Um, no pressure. Go light. Go light. Go oh, light. Arizona dries fast. Thank you, Marty. It sure does. I'm gonna try. Well, yeah. Go for that. This fresh metal. Sure. It's not shaking. That's not a good sign. It's like the same as the guilt from Dina Wakely. Okay. And then put the stencil on. Sure. Here we are. And then I'm going to do that. Yep. And jelly printing is all about experimentation. Yeah. And really jelly printing is a form of mono printing where you just have one print. You only can make one print and you can't reproduce that print right now if you have enough and that's something for you to consider because um marty reminded me that arizona is drier um you can always have ghost prints right but it's not the same print okay now that you have that right mm -hmm. you want to do you want to do a dismount print yes I call it a dismount print. I kind of think of gymnastics when you do a dismount print. Yeah. Do you have a do you have a white or yeah. a okay. So put a good amount, not white paper, but white paint. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Sorry. Hold hold the phone. I do, I think. Hold. 
maybe. So when you want to do a dismount print, let's say you're done for the night and you wait right here. Now, you could put that plate away with all that paint on it. Yeah. Um, but I I would be interested in seeing what that print looks like. So, yeah, me too. Uh, um, so when you do what I call a dismount print, is you can do it in white or you can do it like a darker color. Mm -hmm. Typically, it's your lighter colors. It doesn't have to be white. It's just a lighter color. Right, and sorry. what it's going to do is go ahead and put that on there. And like any other paint. Yep. Yeah. My oh, plate man. Was dry. I was a little. Got That's a little okay. Crazy. Got a so you know crazy. what? You can roll that over into the 8 by 10 Take that paint and roll it in there. There you go. <laughs> That's how we work it now. Yeah. On your on your little white one, put a piece of paper on that. Okay. And then on your big one, put a piece of paper on it. Okay. Or put a stencil on your big one. You can put a stencil put on a your stencil big one. Stencil on my big one. Yeah, just let it sit there. Just let it sit there. You're not gonna pull it just yet. Um, I need a stencil. I need a stencil. Hold on. There we are. Okay. And then okay. paper? Yeah, put a paper on the stencil one and pull up any white paint you have. Before Hello, it dries. Yeah. All right, put that on there. Smushy dooshy, mushy, 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 mushy. Okay. Yep. Yep. Smush it some more. You got some Smush more. Smush it some more. So, yep. Smush it in between the lines. <laughs> There you go. No, just go in between the, the stencil pieces. This is a good get your aggressions out kind of a thing. Oh, most definitely. There you go. <laughs> That's okay if it doesn't come up. All right. I think it's dry. It's probably dry. It's in Arizona. And man, yeah. <laughs> okay. Take this? Should yep. I take a stencil? Sure. Now cool. add a add another color on top. Whatever color you want. Mm. Let's see. Have I used this one? Yes. Um, I'm going to go with ocean. Let's see how ocean looks. And so oh, Ocean's good. Okay. When you roll that out, put a piece of paper on it, the one you just had. Put a piece of paper on it, and then let's pull up your smaller print. Okay. So do this first. Yep. Do that. Okay. I gotta do the swirls. Oh, I need more. It's okay if you um it's okay if you don't have enough because it's just gonna make it look great. All right. How's that? That looks great. And then what did you say? <laughs> Put that piece of paper you had on it. Yep. Stick it on there. Yep. Rub it. Yep. There you go. And then now let's go pull the other one. This one. All right. Mm -hmm. And it might stick a little bit or it might not. We'll see. Oh, well, my paper is. It's a little, it was a little wet. So it could. Yep. Yep. It's because like it really sticks to your paper because it's pulling that paint off of there. So when you did that dismount print. We'll see. Yeah, right? mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We, we should have let it dry a little bit more. I didn't see it. That's cool, though. But, yep. That's neat. So then how, I'm glad this happened, because then how do you get that paper off? So you could take a baby wipe, or you could take a white paper towel. You could um, do what you're doing there. You could pull it off. It's, if I do this, what? No, it's your paper stuck to it. All right, wet paper towel. Mm -hmm. Zena's yelling, rob it! <laughs> she knew. She knew it was about to happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's seen the episode before. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, not so much. Just like that. Ah. Yep. And now you don't have to clean your whole plate. You just clean off the paper if you want to. Or... Yeah. It's hard to tell what's white and what's paper. Right. So the deal there is that it wasn't, it did dry. not dry all the way. Yeah. Okay. It could have. I was more worried that it was too dry. Yeah. 
because you're in Arizona, but so that should be okay, right? If I just have it messy like yeah. that. No, that's totally fine. And then can I pull this one up now? Or you think this is gonna Well, I would rub it some more. And it depends on how much paint you had on there. It could be the paper I have too, because this isn't just regular printer paper. I think it's my laser paper it has a funky coating on it. So well, that wouldn't surprise me. I don't know well. if that is why, but all right. Should I try it or keep yeah, going? Yeah, go for it. Just do a little bit at a time and see where it's going. Okay. This is cool. This is a cool one. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, it's so cool. Look at that one. I love the, the circles. Uh-huh. That's cool. You've got some grungy goodness on that one. That's awesome. I like how the blue shows through the, where you had the white. Yeah. This is really cool. Nice. All right. Now what should I do? <laughs> I don't know. What do you want to try? Um, you can also stencil down if you want. And then put paint on top of it. Okay. But when the paper that you want to use, do you have any more of those base papers? The ones that we printed no. at the beginning? I should make another. Hold on. I lied. I do. I have a purple. Okay. Yeah. And you got orange or uh, gold dots on it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. On one side. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. Um, Go ahead and pick a stencil and put it on top. All right. Let me pick another one. Probably one with a a bunch of holes, like a, a bunch of space, negative space. Okay. Could be positive too, though. Negative space. Oh, they're stuck together. So, all right. Carla, this one's like I, all different sizes, but look at the, I love this number one. Yeah. That I love the number really one. Cool. But do the whole thing. Who cares? All right. So, I put my stencil and then put paint. Yep. Now, put a paint that you want to go with that purple. Because what's going to show through when you put the paint down. Mm -hmm. Okay. let's. We're going to have to be a little bit more. Um, you don't have anything on that stencil yet, right? No. Okay. Well, I have black from whenever I used this one part. No, but that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Be a little bit more heavy-handed with your paint. Okay. Not too heavy handed like the dismount, but just a little bit more than see through. If that so makes what sense. What do I want to do? Do I want to do ocean? Should I do like a teal, a blue? Sure. Or go more gold like the other one. I'm going to go with blue. I'm going to go with ocean and more heavy handed. But not crazy heavy handed. Okay. Not like your dismount. I'm a little swirl, a little swirl, and a little swirl. Yeah, you don't have to worry about so much with the, with the, um, with the stencil. Yeah. And then, um, I'm just going all over. Here we go. Yep. I need a little more down here. Take your, um, now take the stencil off. Okay. And put that purple down. Well, that looks cool just like that. All right. That goes there. Purple down. I'm going to go like this with the gold on the top. <laughs> but not dismount heavy. <laughs> I agree, Carla. I am definitely getting the learning curve of the gel plate. All right. <laughs> you love those technical terms there, Marty? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we are. So now 
Give it a go. Give yeah, it go a for go. it. See what happens. Oh, so cool. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. You got some of that white, too. That looks great. That is really cool. You can't tell their numbers except for the eight. Oh, I guess in the three. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you can. But that's really neat. Now, it. another thing you could have done, another thing you could have done with that stencil being down, is you could have um, taken another piece of paper and pulled up the blue on it. Uh-huh. And then from there, once you pulled up the blue, so anything that was, if you had another color, let's say yellow underneath it, and you pulled up the blue, then anything that was underneath that stencil would have been on your print. If that makes Ooh, sense. I want to do that. Yes. I'm totally doing that. I'm going to put gold down first. I think I, I think I'm getting what you're saying. So gold will show up where the numbers are. Yeah. I'll kind of protect it. And then I'll pull that up and then add another color on top of it. And then my numbers will be gold because that's the stencil. Am I right? Am I following that? Well, we'll see. <laughs> Wait. Put your, go ahead. Before okay, you... now I put this, right? Or should I yep. put the... Put that down. Okay, I'm going to go like this. And you can pick any prints that you've already previously done. Yes. I'm going to do this one. Okay. Yes. All right. And then... Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're try the goal is to pull the paint out from in between the stencil pieces. Okay. The, like the negative, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> now, you don't have to push real hard. Okay. You just use your fingers to kind of guide you where the stencil pieces are, if that makes sense. <laughs> it's, it's a pretty thin stencil, so it's hard to... Oh, okay. It's hard to know. All right, after I do this one, I want to see your Georgia O'Keeffe symbol. Have you been using them? All right. Pull this. Oh. oh, no. I need a little more. A little more love. No, I haven't used any of my Georgia O'Keeffe stencils. Yeah, I want to see them. Okay. All right. Let me get and them out. Then, well, one more time. All right. There we go. So that's that. Yep. And now, pull. Now, get another um paper that you've already printed on uh, okay um <laughs> hold on oh my god it's a hot mess express over here okay i told okay. you i just toss them to the side okay now pull up your stencil pull up your stencil oh pull up my stencil and put that paper and down. put this one down yep and see if you get if you pull anything from that so while we're kind of waiting, just so everybody knows what she's talking about, um, I bought the joggles. Who said they like joggles? I forgot who said in the chat they like joggles. Um, I, uh, I oh, get I'm a sure lot of my yeah, <laughs> I get a lot of my stencils from joggles. So this is the um, <clears throat> Elizabeth Saint Hilaire. She um, she does different kinds of um, stencils. So these are all the Georgia O'Keeffe stencils. Um, that I bought, and so um, that's why I think you said you wanted to see those. What did yeah. we get? Oh, that's cool. Cool, right? With the gold. Yeah. Can't tell that it's numbers, but I dig that. Yeah. Oh, a little bit. That's cool. I love the I love the shiny with the matte. I think that's what I'm digging. The shiny gold with the I dig it. So cool. Okay, so we want one of these is what you're yeah, looking for? Yeah, I'm going to see. Okay. We'll use this one here. This one is the... Whoa, what's the name of this pencil? Big Wave. Oh, it's cool. This is the Big Wave. So, I have a couple base... I have a couple base um, prints that I'll use with the big well, wave. Do base prints while you're doing that. I'm, is that wrong if I multi? Yeah, go for it. Okay. Yeah, go for it. That's a good idea, base prints. 
So I think Oh, I I picked up the the brayer I wasn't expecting to pick up. I picked up my my six inch brayer and I was like, whoa, I wasn't used to that. <laughs> I didn't mean to pick it up, it just happened. <laughs> So um, for those of you who like Tim Holtz or haven't thought about the packaging material, this is a, a Tim Holtz packaging material. And I saw this and I thought, let's try this out for jelly printing. Yeah. So again, you won't look at trash the same way again. Okay, I'm, excited I'm, gonna let that, I'm gonna let that dry first. Do what? I'm gonna excited to see what the circles look like. I'm doing another. I really like this color. Okay. Did you see? This was just like the stuff on the on it, and look how cool that turned out. That is cool. I dig it. Not a triangle in sight, she says. Yeah. I think they're more rectangles than triangles, but yeah, <laughs> they're looking pretty cool. Yeah, Zena, I thought her uh, Clint ones were really awesome. I like some of her Van Gogh ones and the, um, what were the other ones? Um, there's one other one that I like. Oh, the peacocks. I really like the peacock. Um, a bunch of those. That'd be fun. Yeah, well, they were like um, swirls, peacock feather looking. Oh, that's cool, yeah. I'm just making backgrounds. So where, where you live, is it humid? Oh, yeah, it's humid for sure. So that's that's something you need to remind me of when when we're jelly printing because it's a little different, right? Yeah, you probably have to wait longer. I do wait a little bit longer. Um, I'm gonna pull this print. I I got it's what I call a squirrel. I saw that and I was like, oh, let me try that first before I do <laughs> big wave. Because you guys are in Texas, right? Yes, we're in Texas. Yes. Okay. We felt like Arizona this summer, but you guys were really hot. Like oh, you guys, yeah. summer was the worst. It was, and even I'm my, over. even my, uh, <laughs> some of my cactus. Um, well, I call them the fire pokers, but <laughs> the fire pokers. Um, one of, a couple of them died. Oh, yeah, we had um, several plants die. And it, we've never, well, <clears throat> it's our first year having actual plants in our backyard. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I like um, that. And, of course, the summer that it's, like, total crazy. Oh, that's fun. That's cool. That's really cool. So that's that packaging. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome. All right, let's go on to that stencil. But anyway, yeah, our plants died. So Jen wants to know why you're doing half sheets of paper. Probably. Like oh, less so Jen. Paper. Yeah, I I usually print on my five by seven, so I had these half sheets already cut, Jen. Oh. Um, so what I'll do is I'll probably use them for collaging or or cards. Um, that's why I had them. I already had them cut. Why do you like the five by seven size? Because of card making cards? Well, um, I have a lot of shorts. Um, so I have a lot of five by sevens because when they have the jelly and I haven't, I didn't do it this year, but when they have the jelly print a day from, um, for the month of September, uh -huh. um, I did just the five by sevens and the, the technique. 
So that's why I have those. Ah, gotcha. But typically, typically I print with the eight and a half by, I mean, um, actually I print with my nine by, or I'm sorry, my 12 by 14. Oh, wow. The big and dog. then I have a bigger one. I haven't done it yet, but it's 16 by 20 gel plate. Oh my gosh. And the reason why is because I want to make bigger, I want to make bigger fabrics. Oh yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. So um, that's why I got a really big one. Now, um, a hat, um, what they call them, a fat, a fat quarter is 18 by 22. And mm. they don't make a gel plate that big. The biggest mm -hmm. they have is 16 by 20. Now, there are some people who will make, um, who will make their own gel plates out of gelatin. Oh, wow. I'm not going there. <laughs> <laughs> I got too many gel plates as it is. I'm not making my own. <laughs> Someone else can do that. <laughs> yeah. So um, I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do this stencil. God, this stencil is so cool. So Jenna, another question. Do you use um, fabric paint? You'll have to show us printing on fabric. That'd be fun. But let's, I want to see Georgia. But do you use a special paint? So, so I have been collecting different types of paints, um, fabric paints to test out which ones I really like. The ones that, um, I showed earlier are, de are definitely acrylic with GAC 900, which, which is a, an additive that goes with it. It's by golden and you mix that on the plate with the paint and it makes it less stiff. Um, but my concern with that is washing, um, uh, when you wash with cold, no soap kind of thing, you're going to get a fade. So I'm, I'm experimenting right now. Um, we'll probably have a video on that, um, of what kind of fabric paint works the best. Yeah. But I haven't gotten there yet. So, yeah. or, but I'm, I've got enough fabric paint, uh, different kinds, like some from Hobby Lobby, some of the the speedball uh, fabric paints mm -hmm. so that's what i'll definitely be um trying now Ooh, look at that red jasper um her name is sherry and she is from ratchet up your art i will paste her youtube channel for you. she's showing us how to gel gel jelly print gel print jelly print yeah jelly print. <laughs> What color is that? Do you just that use? was ruby. Oh, that's so pretty. And then what did you say about quilts? You're going to make a quilt with it? So I made a quilt. My very first quilt is made out of my jelly prints that I did with um, acrylic paint. It was li Liquitex paint. Mm -hmm. And, and um, I made my own stencils um, because I wanted it to be a Halloween theme. And the the quilt is a like a like a bunch of pumpkins mm -hmm. and then um oh, fun. sorry i got distracted that's really fun yeah this this stencil yeah yeah that's cool um so i just took like another um print and just put it on top now of course i didn't get all the the paint but that's okay and I like with your smaller size papers, how it like, you had like the small part of the wave and then the other piece. That was really cool. I'm holding That's up the happy numbers. Oh, check that out. Isn't that cool? Yeah. You were just printing away, man. You were just yeah. like, yeah, so like you got that. it. That yeah. was awesome. <laughs> if I do say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> Finger jello. I made finger gel once and you know the little squishy with the fingers. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Prayers you eat with your fingers. Yep. I think I'm I like, oops a little. I think I'm not even sure. Oh, I get it. That's really funny. <laughs> that is funny. That is hilarious. Man, I'm all about this purple right now. Purple I noticed. And um, yeah, I'm going to mix purples. See, on the okay, left or so the we right? tried putting okay. our names. I we have this thing where you can put your names, but look, okay. If I put both of our names, it doesn't it doesn't let it stay. So I decided not to use it. But there is that. So I'm on the left and Sherry's on the right. I don't know if that helps. See, Kara See, got so good. You don't the know the professional is on the right. <laughs> The beginner is on the left. Well, see, now now you can't say that anymore, Kara, because you're uh, the, you, they can't tell the difference now. <laughs> you're, you're cooking. You've learned me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one of the, the next time we do this, we I want to do with leaves. Leaves? Yeah. I don't know if we got any leaves left. No, until not this all dry no, up. We do this again. And yeah, I think that would be really fun. Where are you going to find leaves? Huh? Where are you going to find leaves? That's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> I may have to go to the park. You yeah, may be. Feel some. <laughs> we'll go on a field trip, right? Right. right. <laughs> I'm sure you have leaves in Texas. Well, they're all dead. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's why we can't do it because all the leaves are dead, all the trees. It's so sad. We have about, let me think, one, two, three, four like four four trees three trees three let's just say three trees and like four i don't know how many plants that we have to replace because they all died right most people get winter yeah <laughs> we don't know what that is either do you get winter sherry we do it gets really cold i don't know if y'all remember back in a couple of um Years ago, we had, um, they call it snowmageddon, but um, I call it snowvid because it was COVID and snow. Oh, yeah. yeah. And 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 uh, ERCOT, our, our lovely utilities company, yeah, they had no power for us for three days. And Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was real fun. Wow. Yeah, this one's cool. Look at that. That is cool. That's that stencil, man. It's making me look like a pro. <laughs> very cool all right what are you doing now well i put my um envelopes on that so i took that stencil you saw what oh, i did with oh, it yes. right uh -huh. and then whatever's left over i just put yellow on top of it all right i'm doing envelopes too and then i just stuck these envelopes on it all right i'm gonna do an envelope oh i love that i do Check need some out. stencils that right there is the envelope window. Oh, that's fun. Oh, here's one envelope. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. And then it left the envelope window. That's awesome. All right. What, am I, what color? I don't... I'm going to do yellow. And then here's the other, the other envelope. Yes, Jen. Next time you're in Arizona, this is true. All right. Hopefully. Oh, look at me. Look at I learned. <laughs> That's what this is for. Get your purple paint off before you use it with yellow. There you go. Yeah. So now I'm going to do this. It's like rinsing your brush. Right. Well, that was kind of risky, right? Purple and yellow. Yes, because those are complementary colors. You could have gotten mud real quick. Yeah, so I'm just going to keep rolling it until I do. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's right. Roll it on your little guy. Yep, there, there you go. go. You don't have to mix it in. Just Yeah. Okay. All right. You might have a little <laughs> bit more paint on there, but I'm see what happens. Pencil. This one's fun. All right, I'm going to put this guy down. 
for a while, I was um, a subscriber to the stencilgirlproducts.com. Yeah. And that's where the last stencil came from. And then this one's from there, too. But then oh, I found cool. I wasn't using them because, you know, I didn't know you at the time. <laughs> so I didn't know how to use my um, gel plate. <laughs> but now I do. Yes, COVID did fool our plans, darn it. Oh, man, I was going to do envelopes. I got sidetracked. <laughs> well, that's okay, because once you start gel printing, it's hard to stop. All right. I don't, I don't know about that, but that's fine. All right, so let's see. I'm going to do an envelope somewhere in my pile. I didn't really mean to pull the one with the sunflowers. It doesn't really go with what I was going for, but. That's okay. That's okay. You can always make more. I really like that ruby color. Is that a Dina color? Yeah, that was a Dina color. Ruby is Dina? Oh, hold on. I have to get up. <laughs> I'm looking for ruby. Here's ruby. What else do we have in here? Sedona, maybe Sedona. Penny is like copper, right? I think so, yeah, makes sense. Okay. All right, I'm coming back. Okay. So now, now what do I do? Now I'm going to put some ruby on top of this. Where am I in Arizona? Oh, I dry, am, wait, wait, wait. Time out. Is it dry? Okay. Ish. Dry-ish. Okay. Go for it. Should I, should I wait a second? It's up to you. Oh, that's... <laughs> it's probably pretty good now, but I would get a big old sheet of paper when and you do, do it that. first. Okay. Nope, nope. Not do that first, but just have it ready. Just have it ready. I was going to do envelopes. Oh, you could do that. Will that work? That, yeah. I'm going to do yeah. smaller envelopes. Just have them be ready to line them up. Or maybe, where did my... I have a dog sleeping on my foot right now. <laughs> um, here, little envelopes. We'll go with these. Okay. So Ruby and then do that. Um, yep. I live in Phoenix, so, well, near Phoenix. I wish I lived in northern Arizona. That would be wonderful. I went to school there. It's not so blasted hot up there. Oh, not enough. Ooh, let me see that one. Oh, hold on. I went back in for a second. Yeah, I live in the hot part. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Sherry, look, it's our buddy. <laughs> Karen. Our, oh, hey, you Karen. Your buddy. <laughs> Karen, she's been teaching me. Uh, she right. I don't need a teacher anymore. She's got it. All right. Did, did you show us? Did you? Or did, did, where did it go? Put that paper down. Put that paper down. You're in Arizona. That's going to dry. I'm going to I'm going to do envelopes. Okay. Oh, I just no. don't want you to have like a dry plate. <laughs> <laughs> this is, you know what? Can I do this? So that yeah, you trick it. Yep. Yep. Oh, I'm, just me. I'm learning. I'm learning. Yes. Right, I'm learning. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's a tag right there. Just oh, you know it. Down. You know it. And then we have this one. Pretty funky. It looks like fire. We're on a fire watch, speaking of fire, right now. Tomorrow. Yeah, we're on a, a drought situation. Yeah, like I usually don't see that kind of warning, but it was crazy. 
All right, what do we want to do now? You what know what you I mean? haven't done yet? I haven't done, um, what's it called? Uh, words are hard. Words you know, are the, hard. <laughs> this. <laughs> bubble, oh, wrap. bubble wrap? Go for yeah. it. Okay. So put your paint down first. And then press it in? Yep. All right, I'm going to go back to my purple. I'm liking the blackberry a lot. So, does anyone have questions for Sherry? Oh, did I just put this on sticker paper? I think I did. Oh, sticker paper's fun. Yeah, well, that's not what... No, maybe not. Maybe it's Nina. It just feels weird. Okay, so Jasper, you know... The, okay, so I live in Litchfield Park. Do you know where that is? I'm on the opposite side of the world from you. <laughs> you know where that is remember swirl 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 yep. swirl and I'm going to get a new brayer yep yep that's on my my next thing, my next list. All right, so I have I have that, and then I press my um bubble wrap. Is your paper ready, or your or even another print that you already did? Because all you're building are layers. Yes, I have one ready. Okay. Yeah, Tim Holtz lives in um, Prescott. He lives like an hour and a half away. Oh, lucky you. Yeah, I've offered to help him with his live and he just hasn't responded. I wonder why. <laughs> I keep saying, hey, Timmy, do you need my help? <laughs> oh, don't forget, tomorrow is the big I know, reveal. September. Yep, September. Uh, stamp timber. Okay, now take one of your other ones that you already did. All right, yep, I'm going that's with good. Pattern on yeah. pattern. Let's see what happens. All right, let's see. I like this part. It's like you never know, right? And then you flip it yeah. over and you're like, what? It's like a box of chocolates. Oh, that's a lot going on in that one. Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. Ooh, that one's neat. I like, it looks like a shadow. Yeah. This would be cool cut as a tag, though, and then stuff over it. It's stuff so, like so what background. you can do... Yes. You could take uh, break out your silhouette or cricket and you could create tags from that. You just yeah, put it I on your have my little template here. Or you just take your little paper cutter. Yep, that too. Okay. I would just No, he doesn't live silhouette. in Scottsdale, he lives in Prescott. Sorry. Distracted by the Tim Holtz. Who That's is it? Okay, I'm gonna do another okay, so if I have paint on here, it's dry. It should be fine, right? And if it comes up, it comes up. Yeah. Jasper, did you go to high school here in Arizona? Oh, uh, what color to do? Right? Kara was pretending not to know how to jelly print. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> This is all from Sherry teaching because, oh my gosh, were you here when Denise and I did it? Oh, that was a hot freaking mess. I want to try this color shift. So, um, whoa, yes, I was going to say something now, I forgot what it was. Okay. I'm tempted to try, um, I have this distress paint, because you were talking about how yep. paint viscosity. Yeah, so that's going to beat up on your plate. So um, let me get mine out. Is the other video still up? Yeah, it's probably still under lives. It was pretty darn funny. <laughs> I was crying. I was laughing so hard at one point. Hi, Rose. How are you? 
right, what color should I do on top of this? I feel like I'm just doing the same two colors. Well, um, so it's a hit or miss if you go with a darker color because depending on the transparency of the paint will depend on if that if that lighter color shows up. So in this case, I would do more of a lighter color um, if you wanted to. All right, so I have um, some in. But it really, it really just depends on the transparency of the paint. You can get away with if your if your paint is opaque, and yeah. you had and you had that color dry on your plate, and you pick and you wanted to use purple, it would be okay. But when the paints are got some transparency or semi-transparent, it's it's not going to work like you would hope. All right, now I need paper. Here we go. I feel like I'm going to get a rectangle. Yeah, we could. We just have to meet in the middle somewhere to run into each other. <laughs> oh, this is back to my rectangle days. This is a it's okay, but this is I'm going to use as a background. Yes, that's what that's I would call a base layer. It. It's not a rectangle; it's a background. <laughs> yep, it's a base. It's a base layer. <laughs> it's a, oh, there it is. Yes, this is my base layer. It's not Your a mess up. Layer. It's a base layer. <laughs> but I really like when the, that kind of thing happens because then you get these funky parts, and then when you put more stuff on top, then you get that cool you know, jelly print thing you want to, ooh, what's that stencil? Oh, uh, let me go look. That um, was cool. I can't remember it. It's another joggle. Um, That's awesome. We have this funky one. This one's kind of funky. This one was, I think the theme was games or something because it has chess pieces or whatever. Oh, yeah. Kind of funky. All right. What to do now? In 1980. Gotcha. I have always been a West Side girl. <laughs> Grew up on the West Side. Went to high school in the west side, and then we just kept moving further west. <laughs> All right. Wow, it's very, very red. Oh, you must have used Jasper. What? Did you use Jasper? I mean, not Jasper. Sorry, Ruby. <laughs> Jasper, Ruby, you must have been on my mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you know what? I'm I gonna... like that stencil. That looks great, Kara. It's kind of crazy. All right, I'm going to use my, uh, my, what did we call this? I was going to say Base foundation. Base layer. Base layer, Base yes. Layer. Oh, I would love to live in Colorado. That would be nice. Oh, that's kind of funky. The game pieces turned out all right. Oh, yeah. All right, now I need a lighter. Let's see. Should I just put here? What are you doing? I was um, playing around with a um, distress Oh, Tim Holtz? Ooh, yeah. I'm going to do that too. Let me grab a color. Then how's it going? Like I expected. <laughs> Ooh, how about Uncharted Mariner? Thanks. 
smell. Jill, I didn't know you lived in Arizona at one point. Yeah, it's very runny, huh? It is. And it's so a that's, a, that's low viscosity paint. So as you roll it on there, you will start to see that um, it beads up. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it like pulls away. Yes. Yes. That's low viscosity paint. So that's what's going to happen. So you can keep rolling it out. You can get a perfect, you know, roll, but it's going to just shrink and bubble up or whatever, but that's okay because that will make interesting um, prints onto your plate. Okay. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Well, that's a nice base layer. <laughs> but you see, but look at those white. Yeah, it's a nice base layer. But you see the the white in there? They look like little snowflakes. Mm -hmm. Like especially in that corner. Oh yeah, that corner is cool. And that's that's the beauty of um, distress type paints that are low viscosity. Hmm. Now. you would want to make sure you had some kind of white or some kind of opaque paint on top of that blue. Ooh, all right. Let's do Or you can go white. black or you can go black with Ooh, the, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go it white. will show up with black. How about white with, um, oh my God, I can't remove You could do white with a stencil. Or white with, um, yeah, that would work. I think Try that would it. This is my son's white paint that I stole <laughs> like what? weeks ago, and I keep forgetting it's on my desk. Well, that's what happens ah! when they leave their toys in your room. <laughs> so it's going to be like white with a little pink red ruby in there. That's okay. I didn't swirl. That was my that's okay. You had You have a lot of paint on that thing. I'll just say that. And so I would be rolling that off and then use your, yep. Keep rolling it. <laughs> it's you because someone it said I look like a pro. Now I'm all freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Wait a minute. I don't know what I'm yeah. doing. All right. Put that stencil down before you paint your eyes. <laughs> right, I'm going to do this. Okay. Now go in with your, your blue. Get your blue ready. Okay. I do it again. Go ahead. What was that? Go ahead. Let's see how this looks. Hmm. Uh, eh. So now you've changed the color of your base paint, which is fine. But they'll allow you other colors, like you could put a ruby on there, or you could put a Sedona on there, or whatever peacock on there. Mm -hmm. and it would be just fine. Hmm. I need another stencil. What if I do? Not every gel paint, uh, gel, gel print is a winner, and you're gonna get some. You can get some crazy ones in there that you're just like, mm, don't know if I'd like that one. Let's do Sedona. I would let that print dry first before you um, print over it. Okay. Oh, man. My poor Dina Wakely paints. I have let them go too long. We <laughs> just... Not... So happy. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> that looks like a murder scene right there. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, well, let's just make a base layer, shall we? Sure. <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't look good. I'm just going to use some book pages. Let's do that real quick. There we are. Yeah, we're just gonna 
pull those aside. <laughs> Set that aside. We're just moving on from that color. That's how you clean your plate. <laughs> We're just setting that one aside. We Nothing to see here, people. Nothing to see. <laughs> That's how you clean your plate, though. I don't know what color to use. Hmm. I'm going to go for a different um, Tim Holtz just for fun. Happy birthday, Sunday, Jen. Very cool. Let's see what happens. Oh, man, I'm making a mess. Swirly swirl. Oh, did you want to show us how to do fabric? Or, or you can't because you don't have fabric paint. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. No. The dog just no, 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 no. The dog just decided to barge in through the door. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now he can't get out. Oh. He's stuck. Yep. Um, yeah, I wasn't prepared for that, but it's the same concept. You just use... um. You use your um, your uh, muslin. Did you see how your paint was beating up? I did. Yeah, I kind of like that, though. I kind of uh -huh. like that look. Looks like a bunch of snowflakes in yeah, my mind. Very cool. And then if you had a different color under it, that would be neat too. Yeah, that's kind of cool. That is cool. All right. I didn't get my tags out yet, but um, I've been letting this one um, pattern dry. I'm going to put some villainous potion maybe. Oh, foam stamp, foam stamps. I have some foam stamps somewhere. Oh, yeah, those will work for sure. Oh, man. Villainous potion is not like the others. No, mine is the same way. It's kind of gloppy. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of strange. Okay, roll over there. And then I'm going to do, what am I going to do? I'm going to do this. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to do this right here, like that. Oh, yeah, Jill is asking the same thing about do you need fabric paint? Oh. <laughs> um the paints you can use these paints jill but i would get hold on let me get it for you <laughs> if you're going to use basic acrylic paints that you get at michael's or hobby lobby you're going to want to get this gac 900 it's for heat setting um fabric painting medium that's what i would get now those are the ones that i'd be very careful um so that um, I wouldn't wash any quilts that you use um, acrylic, just regular acry acrylic with, and that GAC. I have ironed my um, fabric. I have thrown it into the dryer after it was, you know, dry to the touch. Um, if you do, I would put it on delicate and cold. And even then, I wouldn't guarantee that it would have the same look and feel that you that you were hoping it would have. I think it's still going to wash out um, even after heat setting it. Um, my my goat, I would use some kind of fabric paint. And then even at that point, um, I would be very careful on how you, yep, I'd be very careful on how you, um, how you wash it. I think I would go cold after heat setting it. Um, and I would go no soap. 
So any quilt that you make, like the first one that I ever made with the pumpkins um, that I was talking about, I did not wash that quilt. I will never wash that quilt. Um, and it's also too, if you have thick paint layers, uh, you, the other thing I would say is that when you go to press your fabrics, put a Teflon sheet or some, um, freezer paper between the iron and the fabric, because then you're going to end up melting that, um, that paint, if that makes sense. So, um, some of the paints that I used, some of the paints I've used are jacquard paint. Um, sorry, just one second. Okay. So I'll give you a sneak peek to the video that I'm creating. Um, there's the speedball paints I got, and then there's the marabou paints there's the jacquard paints and then so those are okay and they'll have different um depending on the thread count of your mus your um muslin um will depend on how that paint turns out and those your, are meant for fabric yeah these are fabrics now the paint that i love with fabric is the eye zinc The I zinc is the mm. is the ones that I really love with um, fabric. Hmm. That's a Seth app, 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 whatever his name is, right? Say it again. Is that a Seth? What's his last name? Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. But anyway, so that's I'm going to talk about that in my uh, in my fabric um, compare fabric paints. Mm -hmm. So. Cool. That one's fun. Very cool. I love that one. Does anybody have any questions about jelly printing? I have learned a bunch. Right, Jasper. No heat gun for sure on the gel plate. For sure. Thank you, Jill. Oh, I need more paper. Um, do you have that link? Jill, did you subscribe to my channel so that you'll be notified when that video comes out? Here, let me post your channel again. Yeah, put that on there first. <laughs> Can you hear my dog snoring? There you go. No. After. That's his last name. I don't know why I got stuck on that. Sip and print. I like it. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Jen. Thanks, Jen. Have a happy birthday on Sunday. Happy birthday. Ooh, that one's cool. I love the combo with the gold. I love it. Oh man, I'm running out of papers. No more papers. Yep. You still got that purple one you got to do something with. Oh, thanks, Marty. Did you see that? She said she likes how less timid I am. And that's because of you, Sherry. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think she was like a pool shark. She was bluffing. No, I wasn't. No, I, I think was, you were bluffing. I was like pretty gun shy <laughs> after that last attempt. Anybody who, yeah, so for those of you who may be gun shy, haven't opened up that plate yet, check out my videos on YouTube. I walk you through the same kind of things that um, there's a whole playlist on learning about gel printing. And so that's all on there. Very cool. Which one, Mar uh, which one, Jasper? Which one did you like? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know what you did with that one. I need paper. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay. 
That's right, Marty. It's just paper. <laughs> kind of like, um, that's what we say when we do quilts. It's just fabric. However, fabric's a little... Thank you, Rose. Um, fabric is a little bit more expensive than paper, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can vouch that she wasn't making it. Yes, Denise was there. She saw. She was a witness. Oh, man, it was bad. It was so bad. Okay, so... So what are you I, doing? Um, I don't know. <laughs> how do I... Okay. I have layers and layers of fun on here. So You do I, have layers of fun on there. So what should I, should I add a color and then pull it or what? Yes. Okay. Add a color and then pull it. You don't want your, you don't want slipping and sliding, but you don't want it to be light either because you want to be able to, um, you want it to be able to moisten that, the paint, moisten the dead paint. Is this one I want paint. white or a lighter color you were saying? Yeah, you can do that. All right. Do you have paint so on your hands? Of course. Okay, good. <laughs> you can't be a jelly printer without one. All right, good. <laughs> and everywhere, like I have it on all my laptop. I have it everywhere. Oh, yeah. Well, you should see my mouse. <laughs> my mouse has paint on it. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, stop. Yep. Stop going. All right. And then we'll do this. Yep. And rub it. Rub it hard. And let it sit there for a minute. Your husband does jelly printing with you? Yes. So oh. that's the thing. So my, oh, cool. I have a little story to tell. It's story time with Sherry. Oh, that's pretty yeah, cool. You didn't let that sit very long, but that's okay. No, I'm um, going to do another color, I think. Yeah, you can do like yellow or something. Because wherever it's showing through, your, yeah. it'll be the color that shows. So a thing about... I'll tell you my story in a minute, but that, um, the thing is, is that you have these layers on your plate. So the things on the bottom, right? So I don't know what color is on the bottom, but it should mm -hmm. show up. Yeah. It's reversed. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. so. I'm it oh, go ahead and put that on there. Go for it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So my son. Um, oh, thank you, Jasper. The pink one. You like that one? Yeah, that one's fun. Um, so my son um, does not like art. He does not like to color. He did not like, and he, and this is when he was five. He didn't like to color. He had a, he had a, um, a kindergarten teacher that criticized his coloring. Aww. So that kept him from coloring. So everything, you know. It's true. Everything you learn is from your kindergarten teacher. Yeah. Um, or preschool. I'm just or kidding. preschool. <laughs> yep. And uh, so, you know, they're very impressionable at that age, right? Mm -hmm. So he, yeah, she wrote back, this is unacceptable coloring. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. I was, and I used That's to be horrible. an art teacher. Yeah, I used to be an art teacher. So I was pretty upset with that. But wow. anyway, um. Couldn't get him to draw on his own. Couldn't get him to color. But I could get him to jelly print. So jelly printing with kids is awesome. A family activity is awesome. Mm -hmm. And, um, oh, look at that's that. Cool. That's yeah, awesome. Cool. Yeah. And that's what I'm talking about, those layers, right? Yeah, that's really those, cool. And then put another color on top of that. And you'll just keep pulling up more and more cool prints. Um, and so where is it that said they just had one? Um, Jasper, put paint on it. It'll clean it. Um, this is the paint. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, so anyway, um, he would only do purple and green and blue. No, purple and green. Purple and green mm -hmm. was just two colors. But what he really, and of course, he's the type of kid that if you tried to show him to roll out the paint, he was done. He wasn't going <laughs> to, he wasn't going to paint no more. But what I think really what he, he liked about the whole thing was leaving a trail of papers through the house <laughs> that could dry because he was laying them down on the ground to dry. But my husband would jelly print. Um, it's just like a stress relief. It is. Those are cool. Yeah. I would go a lighter color if like a green, if you have a green, like that olive um that i don't know if you have olive or that's cool too evergreen yeah 
anyway, so for those of you who have children, this is a fun time family activity. Yeah. Very fun. Oops. Let's add a little more. So do you guys have other questions? For Terry? Ooh, look, I'm making the Hulk going on right now. What was your question, Jasper? I missed it. Jasper, let me oh, see. I didn't see it. Missed your question. All right, are you talking about her living on the first floor? <laughs> um, oh, image transfer on a jelly plate. Oh, that one is hard. I... I want to create a video on that one. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to do it where you don't have to buy those fancy magazines. Now, in one of my videos, I create a card using those um, flyers you get in the mail. And you can often get what I call ghost prints off of those. Mm -hmm. um, ah. And... That's pretty close to an image transfer, but those things are hard. I, I keep practicing. You'll get there eventually, but you just got to keep practicing at it. And it's a it's a video I definitely want to create. Um, because I think a lot of people struggle with, with um, doing those image transfers. But they're really cool. All right. So now that I've used... Oh, that's slimy. Yeah, um, you're going to have to let that one sit. <laughs> um, now that we've used the gel plate. Oh, yeah, that's a rectangle. Um, if I don't have a Dina Weekly storage, mm -hmm. I think I might just put it back in my little case. Yeah, you can put the, it back without, in the But without the um, acetate. Will that be okay? Yeah, that'd be okay. But just remember, anything that sits on top of it or anything that's underneath it, even... Even a dog hair. Um, oh, it's going to get stuck will, in there. Will create an indention into your plate, but it's okay. I have so many indentions, and I even show you in one of my videos, I say this right here is a, is a, um, a bubble or an air, uh, mm -hmm. what I call it. I called them something. I forgot what it was. An air bubble or something. Mm -hmm. But in, even in the video, I show you about that one. Ah. So I think it's in how do I take care of my gel plate. Okay. Okay. But it's okay to store it like in the container. You could put it in there. Just don't be surprised if you get an air bubble trapped underneath it because that's going to make the indention. Yes. You can wash it with uh, soap and water. Um yeah, that would work too. Um, you could do a baby wipe mail. I, to be quite honest, I'm going to take this and put it away. I'm not even going to wash it. So should I worry about like, these corners that have paint nope. or can I just leave them? I'd leave them. Because okay. when you print again. It um, will come up and be cool. Yeah, like I'm going to put this one away just like that. Okay. Now, it, some people, some people want to clean their plates. They can. Um. Baby wipes will work. A mild soap and water will work. You can just pick it up, run it under the sink, and wash it. Um, if you have ever find that your gel, and I haven't had to do this very often, mm -hmm. but um, you can use um, mineral oil oh. and on it and um just to condition it if you ever mm -hmm. find that you're not getting if things are starting to really stick for you because mm -hmm. you're in a different climate um you can use that too i've only had to do it one time um my gel plates the there's a dina wakely made a hold on let me find it i think it's a conditioner uh-huh
I'm stacking up my goodies. Yeah, let's go through them. Yeah. Anyway, I think it's Dina Wakely's um, gel conditioner. Okay. That will work. And then when do you know when to use that? When it just starts? You'll know. It's really dry and it's just not. It's not feeling right. And things yeah. start sticking and you will just, yeah. Show and sell time, Tron Volta said. Yeah, I think that's where mine was the last Okay, time. so let's, are you stacking them and then we'll go through them? Yep, I'm, okay. yep. Look so, at all the ones you got, lady. What was that? Look at all the ones you got. Yeah, so it's very productive. This one is like my least favorite. That's okay. <laughs> a, little, a, little, a little on the puking side. <laughs> well, you can always put you can always Something put another it. stencil on top of it. Right. I definitely so, have a few that need a little bit more oomph to them, you know, so they're more like the background. No, what'd you say? Not the background layer. The base layer. Base. Why can't I remember base? I don't know. <laughs> Man, they just keep coming. All right, I think that's there we go. so. Some things you can do with these gel prints that let's say you're done printing, you know, uh, jelly printing with them. You know, you can take Posca markers to them, you can take stamps to them, mm. you can draw on them, doodle. Um, you can do different things. I'll show you a couple of things I did. Yeah, um, so I created this um, Tim Holtz card. Oh, that's fun. Hold it up a little closer. I think I'm gonna have to. Let me see if I can. Is that better? Hold on. Let me try to focus it a little bit better. Oh, that's one of his dogs. The yeah. Dog oh, how cute. Yep. That's and cute. then that's a whole. So I took stamps mm -hmm. right here, and I stamped the background. Cute. And then on this one. Um, so I have, I have what, um, brayer paper or braille, braille paper, mm -hmm. paper that, uh, people who, who are, uh, visually impaired, you know, they read those books, right? Mm -hmm. And that's what made these dots. That's cool. And then when you, of course, when you open this up. Oh, that's awesome. Right. So that's all Tim Holtz products there, except yeah. for the background, the back. So those even paper you don't like, you could do something with it. So that way um, it ha takes on a new life, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. So let's go through your prints. All right. So this one. Yeah, that one's kind of cool. You could do something in the bubbles. Yeah, this is my uh, Gustav Klimt one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And I like this one with the subtle gold over it and the shimmer. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. And same thing here. Whenever the purple there's... and gold. Isn't that cool? That is cool. And look cool. at this. Let me let me show you. Like that is very cool. That is cool. Right? That would be some yep. good looking tags. Even this one. Uh-huh. Those are perfect. Together. That's kind of why I was sticking in that palette. And there's that one. Love the shiny. And remember, you can make tags out of these. Yeah, this one needs a little love. It needs a little. Well, that would. So you could take stamps. You could take mm -hmm. another stencil with a with a lighter color on top of it. Mm -hmm. You could even. You don't even have to use the gel plate. You can just put the stencil down on the paper, and draw around the stencil with a Posca marker. Yeah, that's a good idea. You know, you could do different. You could do different things there. I really like that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the the snowflake look. Yep. Yeah. And then that one, don't hang up on that one just yet. Okay. You could <laughs> take really stamps. Yeah, it, but you could take stamps. You could you could do all kinds of things with that. I mean, you if I was going for stencil. fall, maybe if it was like cut out like a fall leaf or something. Most definitely. You can give it another life. Yeah. But just like that, it's a little gross. These are fun. I like these. I love the Larry ones. Those are really cool. Mm -hmm. That's why I use that like small. Yeah, that's why I use that small um, plate. Now, look at that shiny blue one. Yeah, this is a rectangle. <laughs> this is but, but that's cool. I, I didn't let it dry. But yeah, this would be a cool background. 
And I love yeah. this. This is very Halloween-ish. Oh, it is. Because I could see that using like on a card and then mm -hmm. put some skeletons on there. But the blue one, I would probably take a stencil to it. Yeah. Like a darker, a darker color. Mm-hmm. And like texture paste or something would look cool. Yeah. Oh, texture paste. Perfect. Mm -hmm. That one's fun. Mm -hmm. have this one. <laughs> I like little, that. Little grunge action. That one needs gold. <laughs> it would be perfect. You could also outline, right? Now, mm -hmm. when I get ones like here that just shows a lot of white, that's yeah. where I have to really cut those down into their own little environments if you will mm -hmm. and and come up with something because it's too much white for me yeah but you could you could water down like a watercolor or something you could take some sprays to it mm -hmm. that's what i said to denise too like that would be the fun thing like to do next time for another live is oh yeah these and say okay what are we going to do with them oh yeah most definitely i like that one i like this one too that's one of my favorites these are cool and then Those even cool. has, like you can touch it and it has texture, which is very cool. You know, you could run these through the um your um texture plates, your uh, oh, embossing folders. Oh, that would be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like those, those tags. Yeah, well, these are envelopes. I should oh, envelopes. Done, I should have done both sides. I wasn't thinking. That's okay. That's a fallish, and then there's this one. That's cool. And that one. I like that one too. I like this tag. That is a cool tag. That's an awesome background right there. And then that is on book page. And you would never have guessed it unless, I mean, from yeah. here. Yeah. Now these two are pretty cool. I like that blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one's neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about yours? Did you show yours already? No. Not really. Um, no, so. For, yeah, I got some blue and green on here. I could definitely go back with a um, stencil on this one. Um, this one has some hearts in it. I can en I can enhance those hearts. Mm -hmm. I tend to like my prints to go all the way out. So mm -hmm. I may go back with like um, a brush and um, some watercolor or some kind of color to blend in. Mm -hmm. Or you could just cut it off, right? I mean, you could. Trim you, it could. Off. you could. This is a um, an envelope. Mm. This is an envelope. I like that one a lot. I Here's like that this one envelope. a lot. That's neat. I like this one. That it's got the green and so the blue. Cool. I love it. Now this one's hard to see, but it's got some other things in here. Mm -hmm. I could go back with a, a yellow, a more opaque paint, mm -hmm. and then it will really pop on this. Yeah, that one's neat. And then I have That's this a one. Pencil too. Now, this one here was made with a, a circle stencil and the um, cardboard. Those mm -hmm. are those lines. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's that one. Mm -hmm. There's that like, red one you yeah, like. Fun, yeah. Looks like fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a little bit of a grungy one. The paint wasn't too... Um, Thick, if you will, this is on the lighter side, so I can definitely go through with yeah, something else like, on that. And holds like background stamps or something would be neat on that one too. Yeah, you could do that for sure. Mm -hmm. Um, there's this one, and then there's this Ooh, bigger one. I like that one too. And then there's this pink one. Yeah, that one's really cool too. And this one had um like the navy um the marine on it, if you will, and then I put that pink. It was the um, the Windsor Newton permanent mm -hmm. rose on top of it, mm -hmm. which is more of a transparent. Yeah, it's transparent paint. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yep. So that's those. So yeah, would you guys be interested in watching a live where we take these and do things to make other things with them, or is that something I should just show you the aftermath? <laughs> yeah, have the aftermath. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, look what I made. Or would it be fun to go and say, oh, let's stamp on them or let's, you know, I think I would be interested in watching someone do that. But what would you guys think? Thank you, Jill. Yeah, I learned a lot too. These are fun. 
so well, fun. Well, thank you, Kara, for thank oh, you me... so much, Sherry. This was so fun. Yeah, I'm, you not, I'm not intimidated. I was intimidated, but yeah, I'm not anymore. I still have a lot to like, like you said, explore and figure out, but um super cool. Here, let me let me do that too. Now you can there see you my messy room. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> it was so fun. Yay. So as you jelly print, it's really hard to stop once you get started. Um, the way I organize my jelly prints are by color. And oh, then I put so them cool. in there. Like if they were, think of them as scrapbook paper or, mm -hmm. you know, digital papers that you print out and how you organize those. But um, anyway, I just wanted to say thank you for having me on your, on your channel. Oh, yeah. I had so a great time. Yeah, we're going to have to do it again. <laughs> so those of you who are intimidated, go check out my channel. I go through all the similar things that we went through with Kara. And um, if you liked what we did, let Kara know. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Yay. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye, Jasper. Bye, guys. <laughs>